So I picked up this broken 5-axis Quintax router a couple years ago for pretty reasonable. I had it trucked back to our factory. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but when I got it home, I realized that mechanically it was in pretty great shape. The problem was something bad had happened in the control box. I was never really sure what was the problem or why it had been parted out like that, but I was pretty sure upon giving it a closer inspection that mechanically it was pretty good to go. Um, I didn't really want to go to the trouble of fixing the complicated Fagor control system because that's not something I was confident I could handle, but I had done some router retrofits before and figured this was just a bigger version. So I got the 8070 control powered up and pulled off most of the parameters, things I would need to make it easier to retrofit and sold off most of the Fagor parts. Reassembled some of the control cabinet, picked up the project bits and pieces over a couple years. I decided to go with a WinCNC PC-based controller and DMM servo motors because they seemed like they were an easy way to get five or six axis control and they're relatively inexpensive and would give enough performance to make it a useful machine if not as peppy as it had been with the Fagor system. So I wired it all up, tested things out, did a bit of servo tuning, had to make some new brackets and things to mount the motors, do some modifications, started running it once I had the limits set up and had done enough testing to make sure it wasn't going to do anything crazy. And WinCNC is really not meant for running a 5-axis machine, but it does have six step and direction outputs. And they were extremely helpful in getting me sorted out when I had some issues um, getting it to work properly and mostly around servo tuning and getting the parameters set up right. The spindle I used was recycled from a three-axis router that I had parted out. It was in really nice shape and it's a very standard type of HSD spindle. Hooked up the existing air solenoid system for the spindle control and had to make some modifications to it. Getting the spindle speed set up required tuning a little pot on the side of the WinCNC control and using the DA calibration tool it was not obvious at first but they were really helpful in telling me how it worked. Finally got that sorted and with a spindle and a control decided to do a little cutting. The quality was not great at first. There's a lot of chattering, a lot of poor coordination between the axes and I had to go back and revisit the servo tuning quite a bit with the tools that DMM provides. Because the servos do not provide any feedback to the control, the loop is only closed to the servo drive, uh, there's not, you're really kind of flying blind on where the machine actually is compared to the industrial control that had been on it before. I made a few mistakes, drilled a few unexpected holes, and slowly made some improvements. Here it is cutting some tooling board. It worked all right, but it was still pretty chattery. The axes working together um, would shake a lot and made funny noises, and it left a lot of nasty chunks when it turned corners. So I spent a lot of time chasing the DMM tuning around and trying to get WinCNC to output coordinated code as smoothly as possible, which is a bit of a challenge with a machine this heavy running effectively on steppers from the controls perspective. And there are a bunch of tricks that did a lot to make this work better. This is the kind of surface I was getting. You can see the, the gouging there. And I eventually got it so that the servos were all tuned the same for each of the three primary axes and the surfaces started coming out pretty nice. WinCNC has a nice screen set for six axis and that made it a pleasure to use.
The machine's gonna get moved. I've traded it for another one. But I'm gonna keep working on it with the new owners. It's a neat project. I really had fun trying to make it work and getting it to finally make useful parts and accurate geometry. And I'm gonna look forward to getting into more of the five axis tuning and dialing that in. I'm gonna include a link to written description of some of the more text friendly specifics of the project about WinCNC and about tuning the servos. So check in the description and have a look at that. Thanks for watching.